Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at the Control System Designer GUI or Graphical User Interface in MATLAB. So what you need is to define a transfer function. Here I have a transfer function of a linear time invariant single input, single output system, which has two poles, no zeros, and it's order uh, one and type zero. So I defined it using the TF for this uh, S and then defining uh, G based on that S, or it can just pass the numerator and denominator uh, polynomial coefficients. So you define your transfer function G and then you use this command control system designer and you apply it to the transfer function G. Or you can just uh, upload, uh, launch the GUI and then import G into it. Okay, you can do either way. So here we go. We are going to uh, launch the GUI. There we go. Control system designer. And uh, it is going to show you some initial results, including the body plot. So this is the magnitude. This is the phase plot for it. This is the step response. And this is the root locus. Okay. These are the uh, plots, and if you go under new plots, you can get more. So if you want the impulse, if you want the uh, Nyquist plot, the Nicole's plot, singular values, or anything else, right? Uh, you can do all of those, right? So let's say for now, these are all that we need. And now we want to uh, improve the transient response of the system, because if you see the uh, steady state error in the system by default uh, is zero okay the system can track the uh, step response so it's not the steady state response that i want to improve it's the uh, settling time and the um, overshoot uh, the overshoot you see it's about 30 something percent 36 7 percent and the settling time is clearly past five six seconds or so so and you can uh, mark them here on this step response if you right click here and go to characteristics then you can mark anything that you want so let's say here i want to see the peak response which you see uh, the, the peak time is a little bit past one second and that is uh, basically uh, past mm, 30 something percent 35 six percent and then you can right click and also show the uh, settling time right which you can see these about 3.6 seconds or so for a 2% criteria. And you can change that 2% as well here, huh? So if you go here to the preferences, right? Then you can see that we have some stuff here that you can change the type of units that you have, uh, show uh, phase frequency magnitude in what, in time delays, Okay, this pad error is uh, order is for um, basically approximating uh, the delay with a polynomial, which is called pad approximation. I have a video for that if you want. Style and then options, right? Time constant, everything, line colors, and so on. So this is one place that you have some uh, parameters and you can change. And of course, um, if you uh, right click here, and go to properties then uh, you see here you have limits units style and options and here under options you can see time response show settling time within two percent and rise time from 10 to 90 percent so if you want to change rise time to let's say zero to 100 percent and do five percent for settling time here is the place to do that okay so let's say this is what i have right now and i want to improve it let's say i want to bring this settling time to less than two seconds and i want to bring overshoot from as you can see here 35.2 percent i want to bring it down to what to less than 10 percent huh so when you hover your mouse over that point it is going to give you the information you see here that's here and here you see 3.52 seconds so i want to improve these two uh, responses and i want to do that here with um, a simple lead compensator you know lead compensator has a pole and a zero and the zero is much closer to the uh, imaginary axis than the pole and the goal of a lead compensator is to uh, modify the response of a system in transient 
so uh, you can easily uh, modify the overshoot and modify the settling time okay elite compensator and uh, i have videos for that if you want to learn how to des design a lead compensator very accurately in the root lucas plot i have a video for that if you want to see how you do it by gain and phase margin in the body plot i have a video for that one as well and i have videos for lag and lead lag compensators so here uh, so that we don't do the pid because i have a separate video on pid tuner uh, let's look at a compensator, a lead compensator. So how do we add the lead compensator here? So if I right click here and let's say we want to do it with root Lucas, not with the uh, body plot, but you can do either one. So here I right click here and then you see here it says add pole zero. And here is lead lag. You can have a notch filter and so on, right? And uh, you can do a similar thing here, right? You see? So let's say I do a right click here, add a pole zero, and then what? I want the lead compensator. So click on lead compensator. Now it is ready for me to add my pole and zero. So all I need is to click one point here in the uh, Ruth Lucas. And there we go. You see, the original system had only two poles, these two crosses. Now my um, new system has an extra pole due to the lead at this red cross and it has an extra zero at this uh, red circle. And I should be able to grab these points and move them around. And when I move them around, of course, you're going to see the behavior of the system is changing. You see also you have a phase margin of 37.9 degrees and infinite gain margin, right? So let's say I want to modify the system. Well, you know that if you move your pole to the left, you are going to improve the transient response. You're going to make the system faster and drop the overshoot, right? So one thing you can do is to bring your mouse over this uh, pole of the lead compensator and drag it to the left. And in real time, you see the effect of that here on what? On the um, overshoot. You see now it's dropped down to 26% and this one dropped down to... 2.27 so if you keep going to the left you are basically increasing the damping ratio and you should at some point reach to what you want you see you keep going your um, overshoot dropped to less than 20 percent and your um, settling time is clearly less than 1.5 seconds so just keep going down until it uh, overshoot goes below 10 percent Okay, so we move a little bit further to the left, and let's say at this point, we are almost there, huh? Something like that. We can move and see. So look here, your overshoot is now almost 10%, and your um, settling time is 1.23, so I can move it a little bit further to the left, so overshoot drops below 10%. And now I should be below 10%. You see, 9%. And this guy is what? 1.23 seconds. So this is now the system that I want. And it shows in real time the effect on gain margin, still positive infinity. And your phase margin is 57 degrees. Okay. So now this is my system that I want. So now I go back to the control system and I can store this lead compensator under my design. So I say store. And then here, that's design number one. And if you go down, you should be able to see the transfer function of the lead compensator. You see the zero is at negative 1.17. The pole is at negative 7.6. And the gain of that is 6.5. Okay, so the lead compensator is there. And again, if you want, you can go under new plot and add any other thing that you want. Right, you can do a Nyquist plot. You can do a Nicole's plot, anything that... You want feel free to do so okay so here you can do any of that okay so you pick the system you do a plot and it should add that plot here you see that's your nyquist plot here okay and uh, so you can have anything that you want you can add them so this is uh, how you do it manually also you have this compare and this is design one and you can compare any design against design one if you want so design one is what you have and now if you go back to the system and further move it right so if you go and change basically 
the location of the pole or zero of the lead compensator, it is going to show the original system which you had in green and the new system in blue. You see, so you can have comparison as well. And um, then you can retrieve, say, hey, I want to get back to design one. You can do that and go back to uh, design one. And then um, this was done all in manual mode. Okay, you just manually drag the pole and or the zero and or both, and you got the response that you wanted. But you can also do it automatically just by providing those thresholds, like 10% or less than 10% overshoot and less than two seconds one and a half seconds of what of um, settling time you can do that automatically as well so here this is this part and now let me show you how to do uh, the other part the automatic one so here i'm back to the original system and this time under tuning methods instead of um those manual thing which was done with Ruth Lucas or Bodhi editor, which is exactly what we did, graphical tuning. Now we can go to automated. This PID tuning is for PIDs and uh, LQ design and everything. What we want is this optimization based tuning. So we go there and here is a, you have to uh, basically provide a compensator. So you have to have a compensator ahead of time. So we still need to go there, right, and um, basically uh, add the lead compensator first, like we did last time. Okay, so here is the lead compensator. Now I can go to the optimization-based tuning because now there is a lead and there are the pole and zero, the gains. So I'm going to use this. And I go to design requirement and now I add design requirements. So I go there and say, well, I want my settling time to be two seconds or one and a half second or something. And my overshoot to be 10%, not 35%. Now make sure that when you change your settling time, you have to change the rise time to be less than the settling time. If you don't change it, it's going to go back to what it was and give you an error. So let's say I want a rise time of 0.8 and I want a settling time of 1.6 or 1.5 or something and 10% overshoot. Okay. And I okay that. So now my um, design requirement is there. And now I can go under optimization. I can here choose which uh parameters procedure whatever that i want i can pick which one of them to be displayed and then i can say start optimization and as soon as i say that i would be able to what start the optimization process and it is going to go several steps and it is going to find if there is a solution it is going to find uh, the uh, pole and zero and the gain of the compensator and here it can go under optimization options later and uh, basically change the method of optimization. What is it that you want to do, right? Which algorithm? What are the tolerances for constraints, for parameters, for function and everything? So here it can change the optimization parameters if you want. But here you see it is going. And if it reaches a solution, it is going to tell you. You see it says found a, a feasible optimal solution. And if it couldn't, then it says, I couldn't change the design requirements, right? So you see you did, and now that's enough to go back. And uh, here, one interesting thing it does, if you look here, it reflects those design, those design requirements onto the step response for you. If you see here, uh, you see that this is where the rise time is, 0.8. Here, this 1.6 is where the settling time is. And here is this line. The level of this line is that 10% overshoot. And you see your blue curve is staying within those envelopes, as you can see here. So this is what, this is exactly what I want. And of course, you can store your controller, your uh, compensator here. This time, this is your what? Your compensator. And you can always go to export and export the tune blocks to the workspace, or you can create a what? You can create a 
Simulink lock out of that. Okay, and you can perform your task. So this is the beauty of this uh, GUI. So let me show you here. You can see that. Uh, let let the export happen. You can see that you should have a. Uh, there we go. Look. Here is, and let's say here it wanted to export G, so let me ask it to export G. That's fine. So look here. You see, this is your plant, which has the transfer function, and this is your what? This is your compensator with the parameters that exist in here, and look, that's your C. Okay, so. This GUI is very, very powerful, and you can do automated or graphical tuning for your parameters and get uh, all of the needs that you have for a um, lead, lag, lead lag compensation. You can do PID tuning here, although it has, MATLAB has its own PID tuner, a separate GUI, which you can see. And then you can do LQG design and so many other things. But here, my goal was the introduction to this, not going through each and every one of the options. Also, under edit the structure, you can edit the structure of your control system. Okay, so you can tell it where your um, compensator is going to go, right? You see here, your compensator is right behind the controller. There are other options for it to... Basically, how the you can see this one, the compensator is in the feedback loop. Here, this is in the feed forward loop. So, if you want to put your compensator elsewhere, here you are allowed to what? You are allowed to edit that. Okay, hopefully, this video was useful to you. You learn how to use the control system designer GUI from MATLAB. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.